Hello, hello, good evening, everybody. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. Good evening to be here with you. So, good evening. Hello, good evening. Glad that you could make it on time. <clears throat> so let's just let's just get started with today's class. Here we go. Okay. So let me see. Pachita del amor. Llevar al pachita y alguien nice. <laughs> El ángel ya se va a dormir. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Now let's get started. Let's first take attendance eh, just to start with today's class. So here we go. Tadam, tadam. Give me one minute. <clears throat> okay, here we are. So let's see. Let's start then with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Anita, y next, Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present. Thank you very much. Angel, y next person, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Brenda Raquel, not here, not connected yet, probably. So I continue with Glenda Maricela Cuella. Not here. So I continue then with it is Beatriz Cornejo. I hear the chair. Thank you very much. Iris, nice. So I continue with Josue Vladimir Alvarenga. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Josue. Nice. So next person, I have Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Carla Maria, are you there? Not there. La veo conectado, pero no se escucha. Creo que tiene problemas técnicos. Okay, nice. So later, later. So I continue then with Carla Chesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Y next person, let me see, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much. Y Natalie, good. So then I have, let me see, um, Marilyn del Carmen Solis. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Y next person, Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Emilio, Emilio. Present, present teacher. Thank you. Thank you very much, Emilio. Nice. Present teacher. Good, good, good. Thank you. <laughs> tengo, tengo mala okay. señal, creo. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> no, tranquilo, Emilio. Nice. Thank you. Okay. So I continue with Obed Alexander Alas. Obed, Obed. No está Obed por ahí. Okay, not there. So anyway, then I have next person. Let me see. Wait, wait. Orfa Lisette Barrera. Orfa, not here either. So I continue then with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present. Thank you very much, Vilma. Y next, I have Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Very much, Evelyn. Y next person, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. Next, I have Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Nice. Okay, then. So, bueno, por ahí tenía a Carla María, que sí está presente. Obed, 
Alexander también presente. Nice. Y quiero ver Brenda Raquel también presente. Bueno, solo déjenme y actualizo la lista acá con estos chicos. Ahí está. Ok, then. All right. So here we go. Today we're going to start in, with a different topic. We're finally over with the present continuous, with a pretty much the simple present. Somehow we're going to start talking about different stuff today. Uh, however, we're going to still continue with the practice we left pending yesterday. So I'm still missing a couple of people to ask their some questions uh, about the previous topics, right? Just so that you can practice uh, some more conversational stuff uh, later on today. So we're going to do that um, later on, okay? So let's see. Today, as we were saying, or as, as I was telling you before, we're going to have, um, or we're going to start with a different topic, but before we do that, let me see. I have a little activity for you. Here we go. So let's see how you do this. I guess you probably remember this activity. So let me just see if we can make it work together. So here we go. Do you remember Word Shake? This game we played in the last module. I'm not sure if you actually remember, but um, Word Shake is a game to practice vocabulary. So it's a game in which we try to make as many words as we can. And based on that, well, the more words we make, the more points we get. Let me share my screen so that we can see what I'm talking about here. So this is word shake. So I guess you probably remember. So let's see. What are we going to do? Let me see. Yeah. So first I'm going to turn off the sound. <clears throat> if not, we're going to go crazy with the music. And let me show you how this works. We're just going to click here where it's display. And then we're going to see a grid. The grid has different letters. So the objective is that you in Teams can complete as many words as you can. Since I know some of you might have a bad connection or maybe a, um, you're not connected from a computer, I'm gonna do it for you. So all you have to do is to spell the words for me, okay? So let me see. Uh, for example, in this one that we have here, uh, we can have, or we can make this word water. So there you go. So I have water. If I click enter, well, it gave me three points for this word. So it was a nice word. If what happens if I, for example, select the word he, he, let's see. Oops, it's not going to take it. So la palabra tiene que tener al menos tres letras, right? Si no tiene tres letras, nada. No, 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 no nos la va a aceptar. Eh, mire, pero aquí sale el nombre Josué. Y está, a ver, Josué, ponga Josué. So, si yo le doy aquí enter, nada, tampoco. Right? So, no palabras con menos de tres letras, no nombres propios, no los va a aceptar. And that pretty much it, right? De entre más larga sea la palabra, más puntos le va a dar. Y, bueno, por esa palabra, no. So there you go. Uh, you have, I guess, three minutes to try to score as many words as you can. And I'm going to do it for you, right? You just tell me the word or just uh, spell it for me. And then I'll type it for you. 
So we're going to work in two groups. These two groups are going to be, let's see. All right. So we have group number one. I have Angel, Brenda, Glenda, Iris, Carla Maria, Natalie, Evelyn, Melly, and Julie. Group number one. Group number two, Anita, Emilio, Josue, Carlita Lanza, Marilyn, Obed, Orfa, and Vilma. You are group number two. All righty then. So here we go. Let's start with group number one. Empezamos con el grupo uno. Ustedes me dicen la palabra y me la deletrean. So, y yo lo voy a estar haciendo por ustedes. O sea, yo voy a ir dándole clic a las letras para eh, no tener problemas con eh, la conexión. Carla María, grupo uno. Ok, grupo uno. Nice. All right. So, here we go. Group number one, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Yes, yes, ready. <laughs> All right. So, here we go. Group number one, this is for you. Okay. There you go. What do you think? Car. Hmm? Car. Car. C. 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 A. A. R. R. Car. Very good. Feel. F. E. E. L. U. F. Mm -mm, no. F. No. F. E. F I. E. I. E. I know I. <coughs> no. E. E, double E. <laughs> uh -huh. L. L. Let's see. No, I L. This is E. Uh, <laughs> water. <laughs> All right. Water. Let's water. see. Water. W A T E R. Water. Very good. Read. 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 R E A D read. Ah, very good. Again. I'm sorry, I can hear you. Spell it a ver. A ver ahora. Nice. Es, es, es. Es. I. I. Póngase. A. I. I. A. No. Like this. One E. Oh, one E. Like this. A. Yes. All right. Very good. Nice. Yes. R. C. A. R. D. C A R E, clear, very good. Clear, nice. Uh huh, good. What else? Uh, R C L. C L E. Ah, okay. Well, uh huh. C L S. C L S E L F. S A. No I L. No S E. E A L. Vilma. También three T R T R E. Very good. Comer. A P P E. Ah, eat. Very good. Eat. Nice. Yes. No me hace caso. I'm sorry. I I can't. No se vale así. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Ya, ya. Uli siempre va a tener un reclamo. <laughs> ah, ya, eh. <laughs> ya el, el que maneja cuesta escucharle a todos. Y, y la verdad que no me sirve el, el, el auricular, se me arruinó esta cosita. Solo estoy con uno. 
<laughs> so, el doble de, de, de dificultad. But nice. Uh, car, see. teacher. Car. Car. Sí. Ajá. Aquí está. Ya, ya, ya la no, dije. Pero sería car como de, 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 de tarjeta. O sea, mira, yo. Ah, car. O sea, car. car. Oh, yes. Yes. Esto, uh, la pudimos uh, haber puesto. Uh, ya. So, yeah. so, group number one twelve points. That was good. Twelve points. So nice. Let's see group number two. Let's see how you do it. In group number two, remember I have Anita, Emilio, y Josué, Carlita Lanza, Marilyn, Obed, Orfa, and Vilma. So there you go. So let's see. Yeah. Uh, Aló. Ya podemos empezar. Eh, voy yo. Wait, wait, wait. Manzana faltó, ahí estaba también. Emilio, Emilio, micrófono, micrófono. Ay, no. Ok, there you go. Here we go with the next Hola, one. Hola, eh, manzana. Oh, ya. What? <laughs> wait, Emilio, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Parece que salgo la letra, Emilio. Wait, 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 okay. <laughs> All right, here we go, group number two. <laughs> Let's see, group number two, what is it? Hope. Ah? H-O-P-E. H O P E hope very good B E uh -huh. E B E E E let's see B mm -hmm. nice very good Why? Why? E A R. Why? Year. 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 Very good. Year. What else? We still have time. Bobby. <laughs> Bobby. What? I know. B A R. B. Oh wait. B. A R bar, excellent. T A R. T A. T. Y es en tomato. C. Ah. C A R. Oh, C A R. There you go. R, very good. C A R E. C A R E. Nice. C. A R D. C A R D. Card. Good. Card. Mm -hmm. mm. Ah, one minute. E A E. E E A. Ah. No, es J Y Y. Oh wait. E Y. E. E. Very good. I. Excellent. Here. Mm. Mm. A. Y. 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 So this is any very good. Y E A H Y E A H Ay oh, yeah 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 ah yeah okay mm -hmm. yeah it could have been a word too. All right so still 13 points very good nice so excellent so for one point, winners, group number two. So I clap for you. There you go. Nice.
Excellent. Okay, then. So this, as I, I told you the other, uh, during the other module, is just an exercise or it's just a, a way to practice vocabulary through just a little game, right? So whenever you have the time or something, you can go to this website, a britishcouncil.org, and then you can find these games there on the website. So, and you can find some others too, by the way. So good. Okay, now let's see, let's see. Now that we are speaking about this, um, let me show you this. So today we're going to be talking a little bit about um, the last unit. We're going to start with the last unit, which is related to tech support. What is tech support? Do you know what that is? Like to for technology. Uh -huh. Like what? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Exactly. In Spanish, support technical, right? Tech support. But what do tech support people do? How do they help us in English? How what's what do they do? Okay. Any idea? All about technology. Ah, they know about technology. Very good. They help us with whenever we have what? A problem with the computer. Exactly. Problems, right? Whenever we have problems with anything that is about technology, we call tech support or uh, we request help from them. Um, Whenever we're talking about tech support or whenever we mention this term, we usually associate this with a call. Nowadays, we can just send a text message, for example, with Tigo, eh, Claro, which are internet providers, for example. Eh, whenever we have problems with internet, we call them, right? Eh, pero para cobrar son buenos, ¿verdad? Y el internet eh, fallando. So when you call Tigo or Claro, you're calling the tech support people, right? So, and they try to help you, then they guide you through some steps so that you can solve the, the issue or they send a technician. But the first thing we do is actually taking a call or making a call in this case. Puede ser que nosotros somos los que trabajemos en un, puede ser un área de atención al cliente, que nosotros recibamos llamadas. Y, so it's important to know the vocabulary that we might use on a phone call in English. Here we have a little conversation, but before the conversation, I want to show you a video in which a, this guy is going to explain to us how to answer a call, how to talk with people, and how we actually can provide a nice customer service experience, which is something that we can use in different aspects, right? With different uh, scenarios. Esto del customer service y es súper importante porque no solo lo ocupo para hablar por teléfono. Customer service es, bueno, prácticamente lo que hacemos todos los que trabajamos con personas interactuamos con personas, clientes, eh, etcétera, etcétera. Eso es también es customer service, tratar de ayudar a la gente de manera amable, tratar de darle solución, de, de, de apoyarlas en algún sentido. Entonces, ocupamos cierto vocabulario que no es el que ocupamos con nuestros amigos, ¿no? o, o, qué sé yo, con los demás compañeros de trabajo. Eh, tratamos de ser un poco más amables. So that is customer service. So let me show you here this video in which we are going to learn something about the customer service experience. 
I want you to pay attention to some of the expressions he's going to mention. I'm going to pause the video at some points and I'm going to explain to you is some of the things that he's mentioning. En diferentes puntos del video lo voy a pausar para explicarles un par de expresiones y cositas que, bueno, de, 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 las, usted, de las que ustedes deberían de tomar nota y um, que tienen que ver con el vocabulario que se usa acá con eh, well, pretty much answering a phone or just interacting with a customer. So here we go. Let's listen to the video and then I'll explain to you a couple of things related to this. Some of my students are customer support people. They help customers with problems about a certain product that they uh, maybe sell or a certain product that they do service for. And uh, they sometimes told me about some of their problems, some of the problems with customers that they have to deal with. So I want to go over a couple of uh, a couple of those situations and maybe how we can handle the situation as a, a customer support person. Okay, so let's let's get started. If a customer is really angry about something that you said you would do, okay, you're supposed to help the customer. The customer is a little bit angry about something. They asked you, for example, oh, you said you were going to give this to me by Monday, but it's still not here, right? So how can you make them calm down? How can you make the customer relax? Let's look at a few phrases we can use, okay? I'm doing everything I can. This is just a phrase that you would use to make the customer yeah, feel yeah. more comfortable, to make them feel like, ah, at least they're trying hard. I'm not being ignored. So it's something that the, the customer support person might say to the customer just to make them feel better, to make them feel that something is going on at least, okay? I'm doing everything I can, or I'm doing everything I can, you might add, doing everything I can to resolve this. Now, what's the difference between solve and resolve? Uh, resolve means there's an issue or there's a problem, and I'm going to make the problem go away. Uh, solve means you find the answer to the problem, so the feeling is different. There's an issue, there's a conflict, there's a problem. To resolve it means it goes away, it's not here anymore. So we would resolve conflict, resolve problems. Okay, <clears throat> let's make a pause here. So this is one of the first expressions we have. Whenever I'm talking to a difficult customer, to a person who is angry, a person who's telling me, no, nah, but I need this product now, or no, but I have called many times, etc., etc., and it's an explosive person. And then you try to calm down the person and you say, no, nope. well, I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm doing everything I can to resolve the issue or, or to resolve your problem. So with this, we're trying to calm down a person or we're trying to be nice, even though that person might be upset with you or with the company, but you're trying to help people with this, right? Literally in Spanish, and here we have the use of the present continuous, by the way, I'm doing everything I can. Estoy haciendo todo lo que puedo para resolver esto, ¿no? para resolver su problema, to resolve your problem. Es como de mmm, tranquila, ¿no? tranquilo. Todo va a estar bien. Y es una manera de calmar a las personas sin decirle a alguien, relájese ¿no? o tranquilícese, que no lo diríamos eh, si estuviéramos trabajando en, en algún lugar de, de atención al cliente, ¿no? como customer service representatives. We won't do that. So there you go. Now we might add to this. I'm doing everything I can to resolve this. Um, so if the customer emailed you and said, oh, where is this thing? It's supposed to be here. I'm doing everything I can to resolve this, whatever the problem is. I will keep you updated. That means if something new happens, you, the customer, will be the first to know. I will tell you. Don't worry. This is something you can use with many things, right? If someone asks you, hey, what about uh, the report that I requested? Well, I haven't finished, but I'll keep you updated right, about the process or I'll, uh, I'll let you know once I have it. Uh, this, I will keep you updated. It's like, yo le voy a ir avisando, yo lo voy a mantener 
informado, right? So whomever person that you are talking about. So you can use it not just on the call, I mean, not just on the phone, but also with uh, different situations. So there you go. Okay, so this is one thing you can say just to make the customer feel a little bit more comfortable. Now we can also show sympathy with the customer and sympathy is really important in customer service to make people feel again comfortable. Sympathy, if you don't know, basically just means that you show that you understand the other person, the customer's situation and you feel their situation in some way. That means you have the same emotion with them. You're in their place in some way. To show sympathy means to show your understanding. So we might say something like this. <clears throat> I understand your frustration. Or we might say, I'm right there with you. <clears throat> I'm right there with you. Then we could say, after I understand your frustration, bear with me and I'll take care of it ASAP, or sometimes people say ASAP. Okay, some more useful uh, expressions that we can use. Whenever we talk about sympathy in English, sympathy no es simpatía, que, que agradable, de que simpático. Sympathy in English is como la capacidad de ponerse en el lugar del otro. Right? That's sympathy que nosotros lo llamamos más, o lo relacionamos más a eso con empatía. Now, these are some expressions we can use if we are trying just to relate with this person, if we're trying to make this person feel comfortable, probably. Uh, we can say, I, I understand your frustration, or this expression, bear with me. Teacher, pero y ver que no es oso. Como, ¿qué le estoy diciendo ahí? Que oso conmigo. Que oso conmigo. No, vea. <laughs> nada, nada que ver con el oso. <laughs> so, bear with me. Es como que yo le diga a alguien. Y aguante. Este, como, espéreme un momento. O espere en la línea. ¿Verdad? Bear with me. Es como que yo le estoy diciendo, wait. Wait a moment. Right? I'm doing something. So, bear with me. Cuando yo abro la lista, por ejemplo, de asistencia, para, para empezar a tomar la asistencia, a veces le digo, wait, give me a second, give me a moment. Podría decirles también, bear with me, bear with me a couple of minutes, or bear with me one minute, I'll just putting out the, the list, etcétera, etcétera. Es una manera de decirle a las personas, eh, wait. Luego tenemos esto, I'll take care of it ASAP. What's the meaning of ASAP or ASAP? ¿Alguien sabe? No idea. Ok, this is something that we might use. Estamos trabajando en una oficina o nos están pidiendo algún reporte. Nos pueden poner que lo necesitan. I need it. <coughs> ASAP. What's the meaning of ASAP? As soon as possible. So, as soon as possible, is up. So, ¿qué significa esto? <coughs> que el reporte, lo que sea que le están pidiendo, era para ayer. <laughs> so, que lo necesitan ya, o a lo más pronto posible, as soon as possible. Y acá le estoy diciendo al cliente o a la persona con la que estoy hablando, I'll take care of it, is up. Yo me encargaré de eso lo más pronto posible. ¿verdad? Entonces este ASAP lo puedo utilizar para un montón de cosas. Le puedo decir a alguien, I'll call you ASAP, uh, ASAP, for example, I'll call you ASAP, o ASAP, etcétera, etcétera. Te llamo eh, lo, eh, lo más pronto posible y um, lo voy a entregar o voy a mandar tal cosa, ASAP, etcétera, etcétera. So, it's a well, very common expression that we use. So just keep that in mind. So let's see. Next one. You can say ASAP, you can say ASAP. I usually say ASAP. Bear with me means wait with me. I'm trying hard. Understand that I'm trying hard to help you, the customer. So bear something means hold on. 
okay? If you're doing something difficult and you want another person to just be patient, say, bear with me, bear with me. If maybe my video is broken or something and I'm trying to fix something or find a different color, I would say, bear with me, bear with me. I'm trying to, I'm trying to find the color pink. Ah, uh, the color pink. Bear with me, bear with me, bear with me. Oh, that's not pink. There it is. Ah, okay, there's pink. Bear with me means be patient, be patient, okay? So you could say this to the customer to make them feel, ah, okay, I understand that you understand my situation. I know you're working hard to do this and help me, so I will, okay? And it's just another way to make the customer feel better. Bear with me while I erase this. Now, one other thing that you might do in the situation is to show the customer that action is being taken, that they don't need to worry because the result is soon. Okay, so we might say, we'll, <laughs> it's still pink. Bear with me, let me change this back to white. We'll have this sorted out soon. Or we could say, in no time, in no time. In no time means very soon. And it's a common phrase that we use in replacement of soon, to replace soon. We'll have this. There you go, another one then. So we'll have this sorted out soon. What does it mean, sorted out? So, resolve, right? So I'm going to resolve your problem in no time. In no time means it's up, right? So um, this is like a way, again, to tell people that we are taking care of the situation, that we are helping the person with the situation or the problem that has presented to us. So instead of saying, I'll resolve the problem, uh, we'll have this sorted out, right? Sort it out soon. So there you go. I'm going to, let me see this so i'm going to move to this ones here and i guess i'm going to explain them to you it's going to be easier so here we have some more expressions i appreciate your patience i appreciate your patience i appreciate your understanding i appreciate your uh, words etc etc this is to recognize well someone's or what someone did in this case is your patience so Gracias por su paciencia, no? o aprecio su paciencia. I appreciate your patience. Or thank you for your patience. If we are talking on the phone, si ponemos, bueno, dice la, la etiqueta, que si ponemos a alguien en espera en un teléfono eh, por cierto tiempo y regresamos, debemos de darle como las gracias a esa persona o al cliente eh, por la espera. no. Thank you for your patience. So there you go. Then we have, I'm going to move this, I'm going to forward this a little bit. Here. Here we have another one. I would appreciate your patience. Here we are talking about, well, we are using wood. In, when talking on the phone and when reporting problems and stuff like that, we're going to use a lot of modal verbs. What are modal verbs? Los verbos modales, como la palabra lo indica, nos sirven para expresarnos de manera amable. Y son palabras que nos hacen sonar más cortés, o sea, nos hacen sonar un poco más educados al momento de expresar, de pedir algo, etcétera, etcétera. No es lo mismo decir, teacher, can I go to the restroom or to the bathroom? <clears throat> can I go to the bathroom? You can, right? Y um, no es lo más educado, no es lo más cortés que yo puedo ser. ¿Cómo puedo sonar más educado? May I go to the bathroom? May I go to the bathroom? <clears throat> Cuando yo utilizo may, es como de, mm, trato de ser más amable a la hora de pedir un permiso. So I use may. Um, no es igual, 
¿no? Igual si yo le estoy hablando a un extraño o a una persona que no conozco, eh, no debería de usar el quién. Por ejemplo, no le puedo decir, can you tell me your name? Mm, or can I have your name? No, maybe not. Lo mejor sería, lo más cortés sería, may I, may I have your name? Me puede brindar su nombre, may I have your name? May I have your last name? Eh, may I have your, what? ID number, etc., etc. So the use of may. Would is also a modal verb. And this is pronounced would. Would. La L no suena. So it's would, would, would. So there you have, I would appreciate your patience. Como le agradecería su paciencia. Would no tiene traducción. Y no es, que, no es como may o quien, que si tienen una traducción, would no existe. ¿Y qué es would entonces en español? Y would, would you like to, y what? Would you like me to help you? Would es la terminación ia en español. O sea que el verbo que yo elija en inglés, estoy poniendo el ia en español al utilizar el would. Como así, teacher. Si yo digo, would you like, would you like me to help you? Te gustaría, like es gustar. O, bueno, prácticamente gustar, ¿no? So, would you like, te gustaría, would you like me to help you? ¿Te gustaría que te ayudara? Or would you like me to help you? So I'm asking a question. Usually we use would eh, with conditionals. Los ocupamos con oraciones condicionales. Que no las veremos todavía por el momento. Y las ocupamos también con este tipo de preguntas. Como de ofrecer algo. Eh, en este caso ayuda. Podría ofrecer una taza de café. Would you like a cup of coffee? Would you like some cake, etc., etc. Now, these are just some examples on things that we can use or expressions we can use in a call. De ahí teníamos el after the resolution, ya cuando resolví el problema, prácticamente solo despedirme de la persona. So, ahora que ya sabemos, es, o que ya escuchamos estas expresiones, we can go back to this conversation. So here we have, this is a very short conversation to report a problem, a problem that I have with, a, it seems some kind of technology. So I'm gonna read it for you and then I'm going to explain to you a couple of things related to this. It says, good morning, this is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I'm calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. Hmm, I see. Let me ask you some questions. Y nos deja ahí en suspenso. All right. Now, here we have a couple of expressions related to, well, they are, first of all, speaking on the phone. Then we have um, this expression here. I'd like to report a problem. What do you think is this contraction here? I'd, I'd like. What's that? What's that? I'd. What's that contraction? What am I contracting? Any ideas? I don't know. Is I did? I did. No. No. I, okay. No, not exactly. What else? What else can it be? I would. Uh-huh. I would. Exactly. I would. Very good. So, yes, 
this expression that we were reviewing just some minutes ago, uh, this is what is contracted there. I'd like. Acuérdense lo que les decía. Usualmente ocupamos contracciones. En vez de decir este I would, yo diría I'd. I'd. So I'd like to, and then we add whatever thing, right? Me gustaría tal cosa. I'd like to go on vacations soon. I'd like to do that. So I don't have to repeat the whole word, I would. I can just say, I'd like. ¿Cómo es que se pronuncia esto, teacher? Esta es la I con la D. I'd. I'd, right. I'd like, I'd like. Con solo pronunciar eso ya me ahorré decir I would, right. Y lo puedo decir con los demás pronombres. Puedo hacer la misma contracción. Yes, you can. Like, for example, when you say you'd, you'd be more than welcome at the party. You'd be more than welcome at the party. Sería más que bienvenido en la fiesta. Or you'd be more than welcome at the party. So you'd, you'd. El mismo you, pero le agregamos el sonido de la D, nada más. Igual que acá, es I, pero con la D. I'd, you'd. Y así podemos seguir con todos los pronombres. He'd, she'd, she'd like a piece of cake. Mom, she'd like a piece of cake. Can she have a, can she has one? Can she have one? I'm sorry. So you use the contraction with all the pronouns in no problem, right? So uh, you won't find any problem using the contraction. So there you go. I like to report the problem. Me gustaría reportar un problema con mi computadora, with my computer. Luego Robert contesta, what is it? What is it, Robert? What is it? Ese what is it es como, ¿qué pasó? O ¿Qué, le, ¿Qué le pasó? ¿Qué le pasa? Why, what is it? So, then I describe the problem. The problem here is, it doesn't seem to work. Y ese seem es parecer. Y, o no, o diríamos no parece funcionar o parece que no funciona. Why right? doesn't seem to work? So that's the problem. So what John is about to do is start asking some questions about the tech support, in this case, a flow, right, or a scenario. So questions so far, preguntas hasta aquí? Sobre would o alguna expresión de acá. No, clear as crystal. Ok. So let's see. Let's have a little practice here then with the conversation. So we have, hmm, Peter, let's see, Raquel, and Robert, let me see, Natalie. Let's see. Oh, pero yo soy Peter. Yes. Oh, Robert. <laughs> Peter, Peter. Peter, okay. Uh, good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How, how can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. What is Robert? What is it? What is it? It doesn't, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. I'm not teaching. No. I <laughs> see. <laughs> questions. 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 There you go. Nice. Perfect. All right. Excellent. So good. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 
There were a couple of things here, for example, y siempre acuérdense unir sonido. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, how can I, how can I help you? In vez de how can I help you, how can I help you? So this is just like if it's just one phrase, how can I help you? Then we have, hi Peter, this is, this is Robert. I'm calling, well, here we have it complete. I am calling from the human resources department. I'd like to report the problem with my computer. Then we have here also, no se nos vaya aquí el sujeto de la pregunta, ¿verdad? What is it? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? And well, the rest, I guess it was very good. Nice, very, uh, let's see. So thank you very much, uh, you too. Let's see. So next person, Peter, let's see, Julie. And Robert, let me see. A ver, a ver. Hmm. Donde está, se me escondió. Iris, ahí está. Yo soy Peter, ¿verdad? Robert, Robert. Ok, so Peter, Julie, Robert, Iris. Action. Yo le preguntaba. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'm Peter. sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> es que me apareció como que era eh, Iris, I'm sorry. <laughs> so there you go. Ok. ¿Lista, Iris? Yes. Good morning, this is Peter from Tits Support. This is, How? This is Peter? This is Peter uh -huh. from Tits Support. Tech How support. can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resource Department. Resources. Uh, Research department, uh, I, I like uh, to report a problem with my computer. To report a problem with my computer. What it is, Robert? What is it? I doesn't, uh, it doesn't uh, seem to work. I see let me ask you some question. Let me ask you some questions. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so uh, here, I, I know here we might have some new words in terms of vocabulary. So I, I guess uh, maybe it's the first time we are hearing to the pronunciation of some words like tech support. Tech support. Also, human resources. Resources, right? It's three syllables. Human resources department. A report, report, report a problem. Careful with the question. What is it? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Then we have, let's see, uh, let, let, no, let me, let me ask you some questions. La T de questions es un poco, eh, no es una T, no, no es una T normal, no es question, ni questions, sino que es como, ch, right, ch, como cuando le hacemos a alguien, ch, 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 right, So questions, questions. So just keep that in mind. Nice, but good. So thank you very much. So let me see. Next pair of people. Um, Carla Maria, Peter, and Melly, Robert. Okay, teacher. Okay. Good morning. This is Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. Resources I like department. department. Resources Department. Good. I like to report a problem with my computer. 
What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Nice, very good, <laughs> excellent. That was really nice. Good, congratulations. So Thank let's you. see, nice. Next people, so I have, let me see, Angel, Peter, and let me see, Marilyn, Robert. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see. This is period from teach support, tech support. Tech support. How, how can I help you? Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I am calling from the Human Resources Department. I'd like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask. Ask. Let me ask you some, you some question. All right, there you go. Let me ask you some questions. Nice. That was good, the two of you. So very good. Excellent. Let's see. Next two people. Uh, let me see, Vilma, Peter, and let's see, uh, Obed, Robert. Okay, teacher. All right. Good morning. This is uh, Peter from Tech Support. How can I help you? Tech Support. Hi, Peter. This is Robert. I call in from the Human Resource Department. I like to report a problem with my computer. Human resources, human resources. Human resources. What is it, Robert? What is Robert? What is it, Robert? What is it, Robert? Nice. It doesn't, it doesn't see to work. I see, let me, uh, I, I see, I see, let me ask, you some questions. Good. Uh -huh, there you go. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Excellent. All right. Very good. Nice. Y esta palabra sí como que nos da problema, ¿no? Human resources, resources department. So there you go. Resources department. There you go. That's more like it. Good. So let's see another two people. Orfa, Peter, Evelyn, Robert. Let's see. Or, Orfa, are you I'm here, teacher. Okay. I guess maybe Orfa is not home yet or it's she's having problems. So I guess I'm going to change them to Carlita Lanza. So Peter, Carlita Lanza. Robert Evelyn. Hello. Hello. Good morning. This is Kerry from Dead Support. How I can how can I help you? Hi Vivian. This is Robin. I'm calling from the human recruits department. Resources department. <laughs> I like to report a problem with my computer. What is it, Robert? It doesn't seem to work. I see. Let me ask you some questions. Very good. Nice. Excellent. Good job. Good job. All righty. So now this is just like the beginning of the call. So we still don't know what's the problem with, uh, well, Robert's computer. Now, if we check here, there are some vocabulary, here we have some vocabulary related to problems with tech support. So for example, new software, 
which means that I might need an update. An update, let me write it here. An update is what I need, for example, with any software. Yeah, usually, or apps, usually they need updates. Y nos piden actualizaciones, ¿no? Más Windows que se tarda a veces una hora o dos horas en actualizarse. So, those are updates. Then we have some other problems. No internet access. I'm uh, trying to connect to the class and I have no internet, right? No, no connection. So that's a problem with internet. We might have problems with virus, uh, with viruses in our computers too. So that could be also a problem. Deleted files, eh, archivos borrados, archivos importantes que se borran con un virus o lo borré yo por estar borrando algo, otras cosas que tenía por ahí. Se me fueron los archivos importantes. ¿verdad? So happens. Also, is something that is not related with a computer, but it's paper stuck in printer. Papel atascado en la impresora. Paper stuck in printer. So this is something very common too, right? When you are making copies, all of a sudden, bam, it stops. And it's sometimes because paper is stuck there. A USB ports, puerto USB, USB ports out of order. So sometimes uh, we're trying with a USB, <clears throat> with, a US, uh, with a USB stick, and it's not just being read by the, by the port or by the computer, it might be the port. Funny noise in the CPU. Funny noise, funny, es divertido, no? Chistoso. Y, pero a veces lo ocupamos para referirnos a que algo extraño. Y como en este caso, funny noise como un ruido extraño en la, en la CPU. It's, there is a funny noise in the CPU. And frozen screen. Frozen screen, it's when your screen is there, right? So it's stuck. Como cuando se nos cae la señal, se me cae a mí cuando me falla el internet, me quedo trabado, ¿no? Solo se ve que me quedo así, estático. That's a frozen screen. O cuando la compu no me responde, se queda trabada. That's also a frozen screen issue. So there you go. Now, what are we going to do with this? Since we are uh, talking about uh, calling on the phone and tech support problems, we're going to create a little conversation. We're going to pretend that we are calling a person one of you is going to report the problem. The other one is having the problem. So you can use this list of things that you have here in, in well, to use as examples for problems. Pueden usar esta lista que está acá eh, para ocuparla de ejemplos de los problemas que, que pueden utilizar en la conversación. Si quieren utilizar otros problemas, nice. So that's okay. As long as it is tech support. ¿Qué van a hacer? Van a tratar de darle solución al problema de encontrar la solución en su llamada. Aquí nos dejaron como en, con el pendiente. ¿verdad? No voy a dormir pensando porque no sé qué le pasa a la computadora de Robert. So no nos enteramos al final. Está inconcluso. En, en su conversación. Ustedes sí le van a dar final al problema y le van a encontrar una solución. So, you're going to try to find a solution to it. So, that's what you will do in the conversation. Now, let's see. Uh, before I send you there, I'm going to take attendance. So, let's see. Check. Uh, let me just stop sharing my screen. So here we go. So let's see. I start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. 
present. Thank you very much, Anita. Next person, Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. Next person, Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present, teacher. Thanks a lot. Y Brenda, y next, Glenda Maricela Cuellar. Glenda, Glenda, no there, I guess. So I continue with Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Hi, teacher. Thank you very much. Y Iris, next, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Josué, I guess he's not there. So I continue with Carla Maria Beatriz Arana. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. Next, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thanks a lot, e Carlita. Next, I have, let me see, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much, Natalie. Next person, Marilyn Del Carmen Solis. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Marilyn. Next. Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Emilio, are you there? Well, I guess we were there some minutes ago. So then I continue with Obed Alexander Alas. All right, he was there too. So, well, anyway, I continue with Orfa Lisset Barrera. Thank you very much, Orfa. And next, Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. Present, teacher. Thank you, Vilma. A next person, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. Next, Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thanks a lot. Uh, Melly, and last but not least, Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, uh, Julie. Okay then, so I'm going to create uh, the breakout room so that we can work on this conversation. So let me see. Here we go. So we're going to work in pairs for this one. So first I have a, let me see. Hmm, wait, I'm gonna make a little change here. And okay, so I have a group number one, Angel and Meli. So you're working together. Then I have Brenda, Raquel and Vilma. You're working together. I have also Anita and Carlita Lanza. You're working together. Next person eh, I have here. Let me see. Mm, wait, wait, wait. All right, so I have Emilio, Carla Maria, and I also have in this group, Wait, Marilyn, so you're working together. So you're working as a trio. So Emilio, Carla Maria, and Marilyn. Then I have a next group, Iris and Julie. You're working together. Then I have, let me see. ¿Quién se me acaba aquí? Ah, está. So I have Orfa and Evelyn. You're working together. And last but not least, Josué and Natalie. So Josué, no sé si estará trabajando. Me confirma por ahí. Si no, ubico a Natalie en otro grupo. No, yo creo que Josué quizás no, no está acá. Y disponible. So Natalie, I'm going to... Include you with, let me see, Orfa and Evelyn. Okay, so you working the three of you together. If, in el caso de que estén trabajando en tríos, 
por ahí quedaron algunos tríos. Y um, cómo pueden hacer con la conversación? Pueden simular o pueden eh, eh, bueno, pretender que la llamada cayó al departamento equivocado. Y por ahí pueden hacer un par de preguntas y decir, ah, bueno, esta llamada no es para mi departamento, entonces la voy a transferir. Pueden decir, I'll transfer the call to the right department, ¿verdad? So, just to include all the people in the conversation. Okay, so, I'm opening this breakout room so that you can start working together. You have more or less 10 minutes to complete the conversation. Then we come back and then we perform here in the main session. So, you can start working now. Solo ahí anda allá afuera, peleando con los demás gatos. Que no pelee, dígale, que no pelee. Agárrenlo, <ríe> 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 agárrenlo. Es que tengo tres gatitas, pero una de ellas es bien rebelde. <ríe> ya me voy. <ríe> Chivo. <ríe> ok, nice. Porfa, se le desconectó, ¿verdad? Sí, estoy teniendo problemas. Ah, ok, ok. Ahorita le mando la invitación para que se pueda unir al grupo de nuevo. Me eras. Ok, there you go. Hi, right, teacher. Hey, Yvette. So, 
let's see. We just he started to work in groups. So I'm going to send you with, let me see, group number two. Eh, por ahí le mandé la invitación para que trabaje con Brenda y con Bill.
ready. Nice. Okay. So let's see. Let's wait for the rest. Just two more minutes for them. And then we continue. There you go. All right, so little by little, I guess everybody is returning. And the rest of you will be here in 15 seconds. Okay, so here is the rest, I guess. Yes. Awesome. Okay, okay. <laughs> so let's see, let's check the results of this conversation. Let's see how you solve these problems, these text issues here. So volunteers to start with the conversation. Nunca tengo voluntario. <laughs> Let's see. So I guess I'm going to choose. Vamos a ir en orden. So I want to listen to, 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 to Angel and Millie. Yo por eso decía que nosotros queríamos pasar <laughs> primero. Ah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go ahead, Angel. Le leí la mente. One moment, <laughs> please. Okay. All right. So let's see then. The lights, camera, action. One moment, teacher. Ah, okay, okay. So I gotta get it. Sarah Young, but I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to Okay, okay. Good morning. This is Angel Front Edge Support. How how can I help you? Hi Angel. This is Melissa. I need help because I have a problem with my computer. What is this, Melissa? My computer doesn't connect it with a red. How many times doesn't you have internet. I have one hour without internet. Okay, Melissa. Can you try to restart your computer? Yes, I'm restarting the computer right now. Okay. Now, now try to connect the computer. The computer, why the red again? Okay, I'm doing. I will hear. Okay, Angel. It's working the computer with a red. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. You're welcome. It is a pleasure to help you. All right, there you go. Nice, good, okay. So this was an internet problem then, right? Okay, there was, there was just a word there that we were using, eh, red, right? That's the word that we were using. Eh, instead of saying this, or when we want, when we try to connect to internet, we connect to a Network, all right? So uh, network. network, so that's uh, what we say, la red, right? Uh, so I'm connected to a network, to my own network right now for 
so that I can use my internet. So, but then the rest, it was really good. So congratulations, nice. All right, excellent. Let's see. Thank you. Good, volunteers. Or should I choose? No volunteers, then we continue. Let's see with Anita and Carlita Lanza. Empezamos, Carlita. Okay, let's see. Otro voluntario mejor. What, what? Otro voluntario mejor. Un voluntario. Eso es voluntario. Mientras terminamos la conversación. Todavía le falta. Sí. Le falta un pedacito. Va, está bien, está bien. Nos vamos a dar chance. Ok, nice. Gracias. Good. So let's see. Dejamos a los involuntarios. Let me see. We continue with some other team. Quiero ver qué está, qué era siguiente igual. Um, tan, tan, tan. Natalie and Evelyn. Okay. Creo que estaba Orfa, but what happened to Orfa? I guess she was not able to didn't, connect, right? Didn't, 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 um... <laughs> no se conectó. No se conectó. <laughs> okay, yeah, she didn't show up. Yeah, she was having problems with her uh, with her internet, so I guess yeah, she couldn't connect. But no problem. Let's see then. Natalie and Evelyn. Okay, how you start? Okay. Good evening. This is Evelyn from this support. How can I help you? Hi, Evelyn, this is Lucy. I'm calling from maintenance department. I'd like to report an issue with my communication radio. What it is, Lucy? It's have a funny noise when I'm using. I see. Let me ask you some question. The radio has fallen? Yes. Okay, we need to check. Please send it to the following address. Okay. <laughs> Only that teacher. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, okay. There you go. So nice. The last part you said is send it to the following address. That was the, the idea, right? Okay, nice. Following, following address. Good. There was, I know this word is difficult. If, this is a pain in the neck to pronounce maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. How we write it one way and we pronounce it in a different way. So the pronunciation is main, no way, maintenance, like this maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. So I'm calling from the maintenance department, right? There was another word besides maintenance. What was it? Um, no, I don't remember the other one. So anyway, this is, is something that it's very related to tech support is sometimes because uh, we can suggest a person it to do some maintenance it to whatever piece of equipment, right? A computer, a radio, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, right. So just keep in mind the pronunciation of the word. But nice. Thank you very much, ladies. Good. All right. So I continue then with let me see. Uh, Emilio, Carla Maria, and Marilyn. Okay. Okay. Solo voy a poner la pantallita. Okay. Okay. Hello. I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. 
Hello, nice to hear you. We and uh, we we'll go to the transfer. You do the record department because I am in human resource. Okay, thank you. Hello, can I help you? Yes, I need somebody to come over and fix my internet. Oh, I see. What's the problem? Well, for some reason, it's just not connecting. Okay. How long have you been having this problem? It hasn't been working the past few days. Well, the internet isn't down, so there must be something wrong with your connection. Um, could you send someone to fix it today? Yes, of course. I send you somebody to fix it. Okay, thank you for your help. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <De natural. laughs> Very good. Nice. So excellent. So the problem, she has connection, but she can connect. Yo creo que no ha pagado, entonces, el, el ser un recibo de... Es que no, es que quise exponer su caso, picho. Ey, 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 ey. No estamos sí. acordando de usted. Ey, qué mala onda. No, solo uno es, no va pasando el módulo. ¿eh? Ah. No, mentira. No, pues no. Okay, that was very good. So Emilio actually, well, he was in human resources department, he said, right? So that's why he couldn't take the Marilyn, course. ya dejó el módulo, Marilyn, no. ya dejó el módulo. <laughs> Yo nada más le digo, ¿verdad? No, cállese no, que la ley ya no me va a autorizar nada. <laughs> <laughs> so, <Peter. laughs> All right, so that was very good. So nice conversation. It may be something that we need to consider when taking a call. Cuando, digamos, nos, eh, nos cae la llamada, digamos, y, um, usually we ask the name of the person, right? Y, or we introduce ourselves and we say, hi, or good morning, good evening. A greeting, right? In my name is whatever. How can I or how may I help you today? If my name is Rolando. How may I help you today? Or who am I speaking with? Who am I speaking with? Es como con quién hablo, right? Y porque en teoría no sabemos que, quién nos está hablando, ¿verdad? más si es una llamada así de, de tech support y preguntamos el nombre de la persona, y luego que nos presentamos también, entonces hablamos de, del problema, ¿no? That's how we usually we would do it. But little things, right? And then the rest of the call was good. So, nice. Excellent. Okay, anytime. So, let's see. Then I have, let me see, who else is missing? So we have Iris and Julie. Hi. Hello, hello. Ready? Ready. Excellent. So let's see. And, ah, oh yeah, it's that. So action. Isela? Iris, are you there? Iris. I think it's good. Yeah. No, they Iris, creo. Let's see. Qué mala suerte la mía, siempre me toca. <laughs> Salieron los dos chequecitos. Al sonero, no es parte de la conversación, es el, 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 el problema que tiene Iris. No, right. Ok, so let's wait, let's see if it is maybe solves the issue or returns in some minutes. 
So, queda pendiente, queda pendiente, Julie, ahí con it. So worry. Okay. So let's see. Si no, ahora sí seguimos con Anita y Carlita Lanza. Hola, ahora sí. Ok, oíste, nice. Sí, Anita, right. te empiezo. ¿Empiezo yo? Sí. Bueno. Hello, Carla. I have a question for you. Ok, what's up, Beatriz? Hi. Hi. I having a problem with my computer. I see. What's the problem? I don't know the computer is processing screen. Can you reset the computer? Yes, I can. The problem is resolved. Uh, please to help. Okay. 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 Beatriz. Somos un call center de esos. <laughs> en onda. <laughs> Hasta después nos percatamos que por mal. <laughs> ah, yo digo, what's up? <laughs> sí, somos Qué otro, <laughs> Ok, nice. <laughs> son cool, son cool. <laughs> nice, ok. Ya. Yeah. Mm. Ah, de hecho, se entendía más como de que ya se conocían y que tal vez mm -hmm. la amiga le, le llamó para preguntarle ahí si le podía ayudar, ¿verdad? So, nice, no problem. Now, there is something here in one of the structures maybe that we use. In, um, when we say, for example, could you try this? Um, cuando ocupamos esta um, estructura de could you try, por ejemplo, um, o can you try, Podría ser cualquiera de los dos. And here. Lo que sigue, si vamos a decir, por ejemplo, podría intentar resetear el modem. Por ejemplo, ¿no? Este, esta acción que vamos a ocupar acá no puede ir así. Can you try a reset? Right? Mm -mm. Resetting. Can you try resetting uh, your modem? Right. Si vamos a ocupar una acción acá, tiene que ir en ING. ¿Por qué? Porque acá tenemos que esta palabra es gramaticalmente el objeto de este verbo. ¿Qué es lo que va a intentar? Resetear. Right. Entonces, esa acción que va después del try tendría que ir en ING. So... Ahí aplica para cualquier cosa, ¿no? Usualmente, de hecho, esto se ocupa mucho cuando le van a dar las indicaciones a uno de eh, qué es lo que puede hacer para resolver el problema. Y vamos a ver mucho esto. Can you try eh, turning, in, turning the TV on and off? Apagar y encender la, la, la tele, por ejemplo. Or the computer, etcétera, etcétera. Whatever the action is there. We're going to use it with ING. But nice. Thank you very much for that. Good. Okay. Let's see. It is. Está por ahí. It is. It is. No. Creo que se durmió, Tichi. Sí, se durmió. La dejó ahí. Dijo, ya no puedo más. No le puedo ayudar a Yuli. Es que me dijo que tenía mucho sueño. A lo mejor se durmió. Va, se quedó entonces, sí. No pude esperar a pasar. Me, me salvé entonces. No, si sí, mañana va a pasar. No, se, se salvó hoy. No, ya mañana ya es otro día. No, no qué bárbaro. Nice. So, de lo que no sabemos si se va a salvar, 
eh, de la ruleta que tenemos pendiente. <risa> oh. No, eso no. <risa> so, en los minutitos que tenemos acá todavía, let me see. All right. I'm going to spin the wheel para por ahí practicar con las personas que aún no pasan. So, let's see. I'm going to spill the wheel. I'm going to ask some questions to you. And that's it, right? Just a little conversation using what we have learned so far. So, let's see. I start. So, let's see who's the winner today. Oh my gosh, there you go, Natalie. So, Natalie, are you there? Yes, oh, nice. I'm here. Very good, excellent. You ready? I'm ready. Excellent. So, Natalie, let's see. Uh, what are you planning or what are you doing tomorrow morning? How's your schedule for tomorrow morning? Tomorrow morning, I'm going to my job. Uh -huh. Early at 6 a.m. Uh -huh. And next to that, um, after that, picking, after that, uh -huh. I'm picking my daughter for her summer classes. Oh, nice. What is she studying? And she's in, um, I don't remember the word of refuerzo. <laughs> oh, like she's taking like. The extra classes? Extra uh -huh. classes, correct, uh -huh. correct. For her first first grade. Oh, I see. Good. So she's still, yeah. let's say, practicing or studying some of the subjects that he that she studied in first grade. It's correct. Oh, yeah. Nice. And what's the schedule of those classes? Mm, well, about my daughter. Yes. Well, she's, um, I think she's in force the um, multiplication. Oh, no, but tables. the schedule, like from A to 10. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. it, it's, a, it's A to 12. From A to 12. Oh, wow. So it's the complete morning, almost. Yes. Okay, very good. And what are you doing after that? Uh, do you go back to work or do you go back home? Yes, and, and come back my job and finish the evening at 5 p.m. and then return to my home, trying to rest. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> so you rest for a bit and then you connect the classes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, and what do you usually do after classes? After classes, um, watch TV some minutes, about 15 minutes. And or sometimes, some days I'm trying to read a book mm -hmm. for, and for my vocabulary. Nice. And Good. then trying to, to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What's the latest that you go to sleep? Mm around 11 11 okay yeah that's fear right yeah okay <laughs> nice <laughs> yeah. okay there you go nice natalie excellent thank you thank very you much for that. good good nice okay let's see yeah we still can have time for one more person so let me see who the lucky person is going to be and oh, not again. okay <laughs> no let's see one more angel 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 ready angel ready teacher okay very good that's the spirit angel so angel what are you let me see what are you doing on the weekend? What are your plans? On the weekend? Yeah. Uh, I, I go to all my family. You're going to visit your family? Yes. 
Oh, where do they live? Do they live in San Salvador or in a different city? Uh, I or my family. Uh, your family. My family living in Acajutla, Sonsonate. Oh, wow. So they live. Uh, where are you? Where do you live? Excuse me? Where do you live? In San Salvador. Oh, wow. So it's going to be a long trip to Acajutla. Yes. Oh, wow. How long does it take for you to go there? Two hours? Three hours? Three hours. Three hours. Wow. Three hours. Do you go by bus or do you drive? Repeat, please. Sure. Do you go by bus or do you drive your car? Uh, yes, I drive. You I drive. drive. I drive. Oh, nice. yeah. Is there a lot of traffic on your way to Acajutla? Yes. A lot of traffic. Yes. Oh, I see. Okay. I'm, I'm going to Santa Ana actually on Friday. So I hope there is no traffic that day. Okay. Very good. And let me see. What do you do in Acajutla besides uh, seeing your family? Do you do any activities there? Yes. Uh, Sometimes. Go to, uh, vamos a la playa. <laughs> go to the beach. <laughs> so you go to the beach. Yes. You regularly go to the beach once you're there. Oh, nice. Very good. Well, uh, beaches places, uh, well, beaches there are very good. Actually, they are very nice. They are beautiful. Okay. It's Nice. Okay, Angel. Well, thank you very much for that. Good. Thank you, teacher. All right. Excellent. Good. Okay, guys. Nice. Seguimos. Seguimos con esto de, la, de las preguntas, tratando de sacar más conversación. So nice. Y seguimos con esto. Bueno, estos días vamos a estarle dando a esto de, la, eh, de las conversaciones. Así que Todo vamos a pasar. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. So, I'll take attendance for the third time today. Creo que ahora Marilyn dijo que se iba a quedar. Confirme, Marilyn. Yes, teacher. Sí, okay, excellent. So, very good. I take attendance and then I let you go. So, here we go. We start with Ana Beatriz Pineda. Present. Thank you very much. Anita, a next person, Angel Balmore Aguilar. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Angel. Next, I have a Brenda Raquel Reyes. Present. Thank you very much, a Raquel. Next, Glenda Maricela Cuella. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, Glenda. And next person, Iris Beatriz Cornejo. Se durmió, no está. So let's see, next person, Josué Vladimir Alvarenga. Josué, creo que, bueno, sí, creo que en el trabajo. So then I continue with Carla María Beatriz Arana. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Carla Maria. A next person, Carla Yesenia Lanza. Present. Thank you very much, Carlita. Next, Lucy Natalie Juarez. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, e Natalie. Next person, Marilyn del Carmen Solis. Present, teacher. Thank you very much, e Marilyn. I continue with Mauricio Emilio Alvarenga. Uh, present teacher. Thanks a lot, Emilio. Next, Oved Alexander Alas. Here, teacher. Thank you very much, Oved. Uh, next, I have Orfa Lisette Barrera. I think she had problems with connection. So I continue with Rosa Vilma Landa Verde. 
present teacher. Thank you very much, Vilma. Next, Sonia Evelyn Iraeta. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Evelyn. So I continue with Jessica Melissa Oya. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Meli. And last but not least, I have Julissa Raquel Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you very much, Julie. Okay, guys. Eh, well, acuérdense, ahora eh, quedamos con las tareas y revisen que no tengan tareas pendientes por ahí. Hoy paso ese reporte. Eh, quiero ver, Raquel pudo accesar a la plataforma al final. Sí, teacher, ya okay. completé. Nice, excelente. Ok, then. So that would be pretty much it. Thank you very much for actually being part of today's class. Have a good night and I'll see you boys and girls tomorrow. Take care. Okay, bye -bye. good night. Good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. 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 The dreams. Okay, then. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, Marilyn. Veamos, Marilyn, permítame aquí un momentito. Vamos a sacar a los dormidos. Let's see. Ahí está. <ríe> ok, Marilyn, dígame. Ayer me dijo que está en mute, está en mute. No ahí juzgo está. a Iris porque para de allá vengo. <ríe> de verdad, ah, que ustedes trabajan juntas, ¿verdad? No, no, no. En el aspecto de que creo que... Ajá. El lunes me quedé dormida. Y... ¡Ay, qué barbaridad! Punto, man. No sé si me estuvo llamando para tomarme la asistencia. Sí, creo que sí. Fue el, un día. No, de... no contesté. No. <risa> Asumí que algo había pasado. Sí, el sueño. Ah, por eso es que después no, no bien entendió el tema, ¿verdad? Ah, sí, no, no, me dormí. Me Muy dormí bien. los últimos 15 minutos. Que ya había participado y todo y me quedé dormida. Fue. Está bien cansada. Me imagino. Pero... Creo que ya, ya todos estamos, eh, como decimos, reventadísimos de, de, de cansados. Sí. Ya van, bueno, en su caso son dos meses los que llevan ya en, en esto de las clases. Entonces uh -huh. ya se siente, no se siente el, el ácido. Sí. Para mí son, quiero ver, tres meses ya. Yo decía ya. Híjole, ya creo que ustedes son mi último curso en línea a esta hora. ¿En serio? Sí, creo que sí. Este, ya el otro año. Ah, pero para vacación. Y um, de hecho, creo que el otro año um, voy a regresar a las presenciales porque, eh, porque tienen un horario de cinco y media, siete y media. Entonces creo que bueno, me sale mejor porque ya este sí ya... Sí. Ya se siente pesadito. Uh -huh. Así sí, que a ver. <ríe> a ver qué tal. ¿Será mi internet? Hello, hello. 